Taboo Productions presents The Goat or Who is Sylvia? And it's playing this weekend at the University of Ottawa right now. Director of The Goat or Who is Sylvia, Joy Modamange is with us. How are you, Joy? I'm very well, thank Good you. Good to see you here. You're happy. You look like you're excited about this play happening this weekend. I'm very excited. It's <laughs> going to be a really great show. You also look relieved that it's finally <laughs> going to happen. We'll get into that. Finally. Vivian Burns Melness uh, is the character Stevie Gray. And how are you, Vivian? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Great to see you. Um, Taboo Productions hasn't been around for very long, Joy. No, this is actually our um, second show, mm -hmm. our second um, production that we're putting on. The first one was earlier this year. We did a, um, a show of uh, Midsummer Night's Dream, but with a modern oh, twist. Wonderful. We actually uh, changed the genders of two of the characters mm -hmm. so that the couples were um, um, a gay and lesbian couple, okay. um, and it was it was really really cool. Okay. Very very well received. Who created Taboo Productions? Kind of? A friend of mine, Troy Arsenian. Yeah. He's a, a theater student at Ottawa U, and he wanted to um, put um, you know a platform for shows that were a little bit uh, more risky to do. Mm -hmm. um, like for example, The Goat. <laughs> yeah. And he really wanted to deal with shows that um, dealt with issues in our contemporary society. Okay. And Vivian, you've been acting now, and I, and I hate to put it a date or a time on, on a lady, but 25 years? Yeah. Wow, congratulations. On and off. Yeah, child <laughs> yeah. actress, obviously. You must well. have started quite young. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, what uh, brought you to this play? Um, I had, so it's not often that these kinds of works are done in Ottawa, like mm -hmm. as Joy was saying, mm -hmm. and um, it's just a really intelligent play uh, with some really strong characters, and specifically uh, my part, Stevie, is she's such a fiercely strong and intelligent character. Mm -hmm. It's a really compelling piece of work. Okay, so I'm going to ask you about your character right after I ask Joy, so tell us about uh, the, the basis of this play. Well, uh, the play follows um, a family that is dealing with uh, finding out that the husband, a uh, very successful architect, Martin Gray, is having an affair with a goat. Um, and so he, he tells his best friend and uh, his family finds out. And it's really following the aftermath of this about how Stevie, um, the wife, reacts to it, his son, his best friend, and him trying to deal with it as well. Mm -hmm. Now, are we talking about an actual goat? An actual like goat. A Yes. <laughs> so how does Stevie react to such, uh, that's, that's, that's not every day. You find it's not an everyday occurrence yeah. and it, it really takes her through an entire range of emotions. There's about, I think it's about a 50 minute scene between her and her husband Martin and she goes on the roller coaster of all emotions. Mm -hmm. uh, just the, you could, you can imagine yeah. uh, starting from, you know, shock, not really processing it to, you know, enragement to, you know, like sadness mm -hmm. and, and um, and everything in between. Okay, so do we find out in the end? I mean, no spoilers, obviously, and we have a bit of a clip uh, playing right now. Uh, uh, why uh, he decided to spend time with a goat? He's uh, in love with a goat. Now, with is, the, is goat. the goat a symbol for something else here? Well, sort of. Uh, luckily, um, the playwright did give away too much here, many, but. many interviews um, about the show, and um, in the interviews what he said repeatedly was that the play isn't about a man having an affair with a goat. The play is supposed to ask the questions, um, what, is, what are your limits on morality and why? And would you, for any reason, um, extend those? It's just, it's, it's really, the goat is sort of an example. What if something completely out of this world happened to you, an experience that was completely new, what would your reaction be? I don't think my reaction would be too great. <laughs> <laughs> but then at the same time, I'd be like, look, if you want to be with a goat and not me, then fill your boots, you know? <laughs> do whatever you got to do. Maybe this wasn't meant to be. Maybe. All right. So Vivian, is it a bit of a, from all the years that you've been acting, is this, is this a, a difficult par character to, because of the, the storyline? Is it a challenge? Yeah. Um, for, for, many, for many sides, it is challenging. It's definitely the most challenging role I've ever taken on from an acting point of view. Um, yes, because the, the range, the physical range and emotional range is, is huge um, also yeah like the content is mm -hmm. unsavory for a lot of people and really um, encouraging people to dive in and and, and uh, study it a little bit more mm -hmm. and once you get through all that as joy was saying that that's only the platform to go deeper into mm -hmm. some really interesting discussion so it's not the bestiality just happens to be a tool that's used to get the conversation going. Right. Okay, so then what's what age range are we looking at for people who would probably be appropriate to check this out? I would say minimum 14, 15, at, yeah. yeah, at the most. Because it sounds like it could be like a children, like the goat, or who is Sylvia? Yeah, like, hey, I, I would kids. probably say parents' discretion, but 
18 and <laughs> 18, 18 plus, plus is probably yeah. safer. Maybe, Fair maybe that's a better thing. <laughs> About 60 seconds left. Joy, what's, what's ahead for Taboo Productions? Um, we have a full season of three shows. Actually, we're doing a cabaret style um, um, review mm -hmm. at Live on Elgin in November. Then we have a musical and another play um, coming along. I can't say the titles because we haven't announced our season yet, but uh, really, really great That's stuff. okay. Productionstaboo.com for more details. And uh, which one of you would like to meet the details on, on the event this weekend? Um, I can't. Sure. Well, it is. Uh, it opens tomorrow. It's thir it runs from Thursday to Saturday mm -hmm. uh, at 7 p.m. at Leonard Bones Studio at Ottawa U. Um, and Saturday, we actually also have a matinee at 2.30. Okay. Sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun yeah. and very, very interesting. Yes, Very definitely. interesting. Joy and Vivian <laughs> from uh, Taboo Productions, The Goat or Who is Sylvia. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you for having us. Thank you. Coming up, how about a free hot breakfast to help out a good cause? Details next.